Well, when I was little, and it would be your grandfather. Mm -hmm. He was planting the the potatoes in the ground, and I asked him why he was hiding potatoes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so my mom is visiting me, and she's nice enough to be manning the camera. This is stuff from the garden that uh, was bolting, and you know, not really good anymore. So we're gonna feed some of this to the chickens, but I thought it'd also be fun to uh, let mom feed some of our bunnies some of it as well. They are. Oh my gosh, look how big they got. There guys. Oh my gosh. Yep, they'll uh, all gather around and munch away on it. They're a little less shy when you've got food. <laughs> Do they like the leaves best? They'll eat the whole thing. Really? Who does it have some? I think they start with the leaves though. Bunnies are these? Uh, these are a combination of uh, rabbits from both of our Oh, females. really? Yep. I really like that. I wonder mm -hmm. what it is. I think they're broccoli leaves, actually. That's what it looks like. There you go. There you go. Yeah, we've got oh, water right, right on the back, yep. Huh. That's, is, this isn't new, right? No, we've had this for a little while. <laughs> All right, let's go give the chickens a little treat. Chickens do like their treats. Look out below. Oops. They really like those. And the turkey is over there on the tire right now. Oh my gosh, is that one of those babies? She kind of likes, yeah, she kind of likes hanging out over there, usually on the porch up above. But. Yeah. 
I don't know if we can see her very well. But, but these guys are happy. So is that the only turkey? Yep, that's the lone musketeer. Uh, I want to see that rooster before I leave. We can do okay, that. Okay, where are the goats? They're inside their little oh, little shelter. They are. Oh, look how cute they are. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. They're pretty little still. Mm -hmm. The black and white one is lightning, and this little guy Striker. here is Striker. Striker is always the one that wants Ow. to come up first. <laughs> Thinks I have something for him, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't have any treats. Sorry. Oh. They're a little dusty. Yeah. Sleeping yeah. under their hay. We should have brought him a treat. What do they like? These goats Cookies? these goats don't like the animal crackers. That was they just from don't? the that was just the other farm. Oh. That uh, fed them animal crackers. These guys are really cute. I should take some pictures actually. Yeah, I need to take pictures. Oh, hello. Okay. Yeah, they'll they'll get you a little bit muddy when they <laughs> jump on you. That's okay. Everything I have on is washable. Well, you're kind of close. <laughs> this is a close-up. <laughs> you're a close-up. This is Stryker. It's really cute. So do they stay in the shed a lot? Oh, in the shed, or they really like it up on their logs. Ah. Yeah. This is pretty. Turned out really good. Mm -hmm. Didn't it? Yep, the area turned out nice. Yeah. It's all like just natural and... Mm -hmm. It's great. Oh. Are you peeing? <laughs> Look how fat this one is. Yeah, this, <laughs> lightning it pretty much does nothing but eat. <laughs> he, uh, he likes his food. Uh, Come here, Striker. I mean, Striker. Lightning Striker. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. There you go. Oh, wow. Not very good. Oh, that, I hope that took, I'm not sure. I got it's races. <laughs> got a itch. Striker. I love their little lap. Mm -hmm. little it's a sweet sounds. voice. Really cute. It's amazing how they can just jump up. Mm -hmm. Just like flat footed, they're up there. Hey, Striker. Oh, I think that one turned out good. So this is Mr. Wally Wiggins, an adopted chicken. Wendy is looking forward to breeding this rooster with some of our other chickens to create some weird looking chickens. Even weirder than this one looks. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, wanted to, Mom wanted to see this one up close, so I got this one out. Oh, uh oh. Hold, hold it. Relax. It's okay. Uh oh. It's okay. Uh -oh. It's, okay. It's, okay. it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh Relax. my goodness. Relax. Relax. Chickens relax when you hold them upside down. I guess so. It's all right. I'll put them back in. Okay. He's going, oh no. Here we go. So it'll be an upcoming episode, but we're gonna get some cats. Since we've had the goats and goat food around, we've noticed a, an uptick in the uh, squirrels and mice, and we need cats to kind of 
keep that population down. So these will be definitely outdoor cats. We're thinking about trying to get experienced mouser cats, some farm cats that somebody doesn't want anymore. I'm going to build a little home for them here. It'll kind of straddle the, the deck here, mostly mm -hmm. hang over the edge, and it'll be double decker with little or little ramps and access panels to for them to get around in it. And hopefully that'll be a good place for the cats. So on our on our little tour here, mom was wondering what we've got going on back here. Wendy's gonna put in an in-ground garden. The first step was laying out cardboard as a protection against weeds, just so there's not as many weeds to deal with. Then we laid out uh, spent straw bedding and a bunch of rabbit poop. And we'll just kind of build stuff up and then throw on uh, compost and she can plant whatever she wants to there. When we got all these new animals, we're gonna have a whole lot more straw bedding to compost and straw would be a good carbon source. So since we're using all of this here and we could still use more still, there's not as much carbon for our compost bins as I was thinking. Hmm. We're using grass clippings from our yard and from Randy and Kathy's to make new compost for ourselves. And we can really, you know, crank through the, the material pretty efficiently. Anyway, I've got shredded junk mail and old receipts and different things here. This is an excellent carbon source for composting. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in some of our compost bins. Want to get a close up, Mom? Yeah. All this stuff will break down to just perfect compost. Yeah, artichokes are kind of a kind of an interesting plant. Do you, Do you guys eat them? I'm sure Wendy I would. I love artichokes. They're so good. It's got a beautiful flower. I know, it's purple, isn't mm -hmm. it? I was seeing if there's any more coming. I don't see any. I need to deadhead this rose. It's looking pretty sad. Don't you just cut them down quite a ways? Yeah, I need to do that. These are probably onions, right? Yeah. Hey, nothing's really cool right there. What's that? That is the potato tower. Let's go take a look. Okay. So mom was asking about this, and this is an experiment. It's a potato tower. We put this uh, uh, wire mesh in a loop, and then uh, stacked it up with straw and compost, planting potatoes up as we went. And it's obviously doing really well. Lots of uh, lots of leaves. Crazy. How do you know when they're done? Do the leaves die or something? Yeah, the the plant will start dying back, and then you get the potatoes. Huh. But potatoes store pretty well in the ground, so you don't have to worry about you know harvest, harvesting them too late or letting them rot in the ground as much as you know a lot of vegetables you might think of. Well, when I was little, and it would be your grandfather, mm -hmm. he was planting the, the potatoes in the ground. And I asked him why he was hiding potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 
So that was my mom's dad, Papa. So what's in the greenhouse then? Greenhouse. Yeah. We've got a lot of uh, tomatoes. They're really mm. taking off, and uh, some peppers. Peppers. Yeah, peppers, and looks like some basil down there. Yeah. Nice. Oh, things are really sprouting up this year. Yeah. Our blueberry bush is uh, oh my gosh. bursting this year. Still waiting for them to ripen. Yeah, they're everywhere. I mean, look at all these. Ow. Get a close up at those. Look at that. Yeah. And what's that? It's a hammock. Cool. You guys use it much? I've used it. You know who would love that? Jagan. Hmm. The garlic are in these square diamond shaped beds here in the middle. And they're doing really well. That looks like cabbage. Mm hmm Apples. Oh wow. What kind do you think? These do you know? Yeah, these are Honeycrisp. Ooh, those are good. Yeah, ones. really good apples. There's four. Mm-hmm. There's a couple more around the tree. I need to trim it back. It's getting a little tall. Yeah, I think I see some more. Here's some. Yeah, that's a coming along nicely. There's one down there, and there's three over there. Yeah, much better than last year. Last year we had one apple on what? this tree. <laughs> Who got to eat it? <laughs> <laughs> I ate most of it, but Wendy had a little. See, there's three more. Mm-hmm. So, that's good. There was a super cute picture of one of our bunnies when these apples were just uh, apple blossoms. I'll have to throw oh. that in the video, too. Okay. It really is a nice little Easter kind of picture. This bee is <laughs> They're just uh, doing their job out here. I know, while well, they stick to the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> so these are our first chickens that we hatched from eggs using our incubator. They're very curious little critters. Super healthy. I think, it, I think it helps that the chickens didn't have to survive a trip through the U.S. mail. <laughs> that, that really does stress them and, and <laughs> you know. Yeah. These little fluff balls are pretty round and happy looking, I think. For sure. Where's your incubator? Is it in the garage? It's uh, it's down in the utility room as well, oh. where we did that. Once it starts flashing, then you know it's gone. <clears throat> well, it's going to five seconds. All right, yeah. So, You're good. Okay. What does she think she's going to plant here? I'm not sure what she's got, oh. got in mind for this, this area. Maybe some melons. Um, things. Interestingly enough, I built a. Uh, an extra compost bin mm -hmm. because of all the straw bedding with our new animals. I think it went off. Do you think it went Nope, it's still, still flashing. Really? Yep. I don't see a picture. Oh, it, it, it'll, uh, it dims after a little while, so it's fine. Oh, okay. I'll start over from where I was. Okay. 